obviously they're all cleaned up and they look pretty good and I just threw some WD-40 on it and just wiped it on there so it would prevent it from all rusting and I had a bunch of other stuff that I just let it go too far and it just did a surface rust which uh, sucks but that uh, happens so if you guys are doing this make sure you don't let it dry after you spray it off with water because it will rust throw some WD-40 on it or like what I was going to do what I'm going to do is throw a bunch of WD-40 in here and throw parts in here and just shake it all around it just covers it in WD-40 prevents it from rusting and I also threw some uh, WD-40 on this as well just to prevent it from rusting all in the uh, cam spots and really anyway these valves look like poop these valves are pretty gross I even threw them in the hot tank with the uh, with everything else but they are still caked in carbon so today we're gonna try and uh, we're gonna try and remove all this carbon. So one thing that I read is you can throw them, throw them in a drill, and just spin it. Throw like a brass brush on it. I'm probably gonna do that with a wire brush. Just gonna throw them in a drill and uh, just rub it against the wire brush. Hopefully, it cleans it all off. I just finished all the valves. <laughs> took about two hours to clean them all up. About two hours went by pretty fast though because you're just sitting there. I had the headphones on. It was a pretty good time. This is how they look. Nice and shiny and clean of carbon. Obviously they're not going to be perfect. They're not going to look like brand new valves. But at least I got all the carbon off. Especially this one. Looks nice and shiny. Some of them are kind of damaged if you can see doesn't look too pretty at all. These are the parts that I left in the uh, hot tank for an hour because I let that surface rust get on them. They're all soaked in WD-40 just so they don't rust anymore. They look pretty nice and clean. Obviously all these parts up here too. 